Welcome to the vlog! He just slobbered on me. It's Brody's second birthday! Woo! Happy birthday, Brod! Happy birthday, big guy! <laughs> okay, so. Tell him what we did so far. Thus far, we had croissants. Brody may have had a little bite. We walked in the park. I can insert that footage. Oh, we had the best time. We're at his other most favorite place, Starbucks. Well, thank you for choosing Starbucks. This is Carly speaking. How can I help you today? Hi, can I do a uh, venti iced coffee with almond milk and uh, two pumps of caramel, please? Do you know what you're getting? You know my usual brown sugar. Is that all for you today? And can I do a uh, grande um, ice shaken brown sugar espresso? It's your day here. You guys, we think that he Is knows it's coffee? Uh, no, no classic, please. We think he knows because when we were walking in the park, like, right, he can just I get you anything is else smiling. Um, and can we egg. also do a uh, pup cup? And that's it. Oh, do you want egg bites? Oh. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> can, yeah. we add bacon can we also <laughs> add uh, bacon egg bites, too? Yeah, of course. Those. Thank you. Amazing. And that's it. Brody might need a bite. Alright, total 1628. Thank you. Thank you. I was telling him, because I was posting on my story yesterday how I was like, there's no way Brody knows it's his birthday. However, he's been smiling extra big today. He knows. He definitely knows. Oh, and you guys also missed this morning. I'll show you when we get back. But we have like a happy birthday cake toy that we got on his last birthday. And he's playing with that. I said he can play with it once a year <laughs> on his birthday because it's a birthday toy. And what else? We're probably not gonna do all the balloons and the cake and all that like last year. Too much. And the cake is like too much for him by himself, yeah. and then it hurts his stomach. And we're like, why did we even do this? Maybe just some little treats. Pup cup is fine. Yeah, maybe we'll get treats. But basically today we're just gonna do all his favorite things since it's his pee day. And oh, I also already had a little cry since he's my teeny tiny baby, and he's so big, and they grow up so quick. I didn't thinking about it. I had a sting in my eye. <laughs> a tear. Like. <laughs> oh, here oh. we go. Here they come, the waterworks. I was saying in the park how he's like even better than I ever could have imagined. You know? Dogs are just the best. We don't deserve them. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Your mom is a big sap. <laughs> oh yeah, those look so good. Also, you guys, this is the first time I've ever seen this snack where they have like pup oh, cup on sticker. here. Because yeah. <laughs> usually they just like fill it up quick. Okay, you just have to wait five seconds. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <too>. Okay, <laughs> here we go. I gotta get this ready too. Are you getting napkins? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's a good call. Oh, is he already dribbling? Mm hmm Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can that I was the quickest pup cup that ever. Was record timing, buddy. Ow, my egg bites are burning my legs. They're so hot. I'm so happy I remember. That yummy, so buddy. Good. Hey, that's it. All done. Birthday boy. I feel like I'm living in the twilight zone or like, I don't know. Because how many vlogs have I started at Starbucks? Just like this. Yeah. All or, of them. Or like, it's like deja vu, you know? Mm -hmm. But today is not just any ordinary day. Or any ordinary vlog. Best Birthday vlog. Birthday boy. See his little face right there. Yes. <laughs> now where are we going? Did you already tell him? Um, oh, no. I you forgot. Know? We're going to pet mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. First step. Everybody get a little loving. This almost tastes like chai to me. <laughs> I don't know why. Is that a burp back there? Oh no, it's brown sugar. Yeah, this is a good one. The North Croc Starbucks. If you live in Allentown, it's the best Starbucks. Sorry, this lighting. Mmm. Yeah, the first sip literally. It tastes kind of like chai to me. I don't know why, but it's yummy. Anything in Dick's? 
No, but you want to go in there, <laughs> don't you? No, I think he might need something. No. <gasps> Maybe we need more pickleball paddles. No. Too funny. Brody loves pickleball. We gotta yeah, go he tonight. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Good boy, the best boy. Oh, he's wearing his bandana, you guys, because it's his B day, so he's dressed up all nice. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Woo! Sit. Sit. Boy. This is a very good Eel. boy. <laughs> Anything jumping out at you? Anything you need? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is reminding me when I did the campaign with PetSmart on Instagram. And I filmed in here with him. And he ran up and down the aisles. Which one you want? <laughs> Brody, look at this turtle. It's so cute. Okay, Brod, what do we think? Brody. Brody. <laughs> this face in a box or something. Brody, look it. Do you like this turtle? No? no. That's a no. Okay, back to the drawing board. Hey, Brody always demolishes these in like one day because they're teeny. But you love the teeny. Brody, look. You love Teeny. Wait, what about no? Chucky? Okay. Oh. <laughs> he had the bucket hat on for like one second. That's cute. Mountain Park pup. Brody. Oh. Hates it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we found a winner. I, I knew he would like it. It's this little crinkly um, watermelon. Uh oh, he's gonna pull off the little strings on there in one second. This is probably made for a tiny dog. But you're a big boy. <laughs> He's just pulling on the strings, Mags. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's a yes. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I'm getting you the B, even though you were unsure. <laughs> oh, also, they gave him a happy birthday bandana. Oh, now you like the B. There you go. Guys, look at the happy birthday bandana. How cute is that? Okay, I think we need. You guys, we've been wanting to get him a waterproof collar because he likes to swim in the summer. And this one's glow in the dark. Heck yeah, that'll be great. What do you think, birthday boy? <laughs> you guys, we had these treats when he was like an eight week old puppy. And so we're getting them because they're nostalgic and he really likes these. <laughs> you definitely know it's your birthday now. You got so much attention in there. They love you. <laughs> I think the only other thing we got in there that we didn't tell them is a spray that freshens his breath because he has pretty bad breath. Sit. <laughs> Already set. Good boy. I think someone's worn out from his birthday already. <laughs> That's because he, he needs a nap. I said no. Club. Another club. <laughs> he loves his bumblebee. That watermelon you think is yeah. not gonna last? You love your new bumblebee! Oh. <laughs> oh, this is what I wanted to show them that he had earlier. Was the happy birthday toy from last year. That also was in the graveyard momentarily because he pulled off. Was he getting fluff out of here? Probably. Probably split open somehow. Most of his toys are in the graveyard by now. It's not that. Uh, okay, so I have been working and I feel like my eyes hurt because I've been on my phone and sleep. my computer <laughs> so much. And all I want to do is have fun because it's Brody's special day. But we're cooking lunch and Max is just making fun of me. Say your I was impression. Not, I was not making fun. Say your impression of when I talk about HelloFresh. I was just telling fresh. you how to do the brief because <laughs> we know it by heart now. Because we love HelloFresh and them. all their natural ingredients <laughs> and how there's uh, little to no waste because they provide all the exact measurements needed to be uh, made into a delicious meal, family meal, I might add, that we get because uh, we like it so much. That's why. 
<laughs> You're saying everything like halfway correct. We do get the family version, like family yeah, size. We, we get four servings. But you always eat at least two. Oh my gosh, I can't. I was just laughing so hard. His impression of me. But we are cooking the Tosadas Suprema with pork. I actually feel like we've had this exact one before. But I feel like I made it different and I don't toast the little tortillas because yeah, I, I like them do soft that. better. Yeah, just do micro. But you can, yeah, obviously do whatever you want. We're making our HelloFresh. Thank you, HelloFresh, for working with me on this video. I've literally worked with HelloFresh for years and years and years. I feel like they're one of my longest like sponsors mm -hmm. ever because we love them. We always get them. And oh, we made the Dice yummiest. The tomato. We made the yummiest. Wait, is that from something? I think Drake and Drop. <laughs> We made the yummiest buffalo chicken one last night. Oh, and I say we, I mean Max made it last night, and it was so good. So I highly recommend if you ever see buffalo chicken on there. Um, but you guys know, oh, I feel like there's a Brody smudge on here. Look at from him earlier. Brody Slava. Yeah, but you guys know. We love our HelloFresh. I love having their app, by the way. So I know I feel like I haven't talked about that much and they don't even tell me to talk about it. But personally, I just love their app because I can pick the different recipes for the different boxes that I get each week. There's like so many different new recipes to choose from and it's so easy on there. You literally can just click like skip this week when we're traveling, something like that. Or if you want to like change your quantity of size, if you want to do the two person, the four person, if you need to change the delivery address, we've done all the above because we've had it for like so many years and you guys know we're always on the move so max is getting cooking are you snacking over there while you're cooking <laughs> he's putting on the apron wait everyone loved it. i posted my story last night that you made us dinner like the hella fresh dinner last night and everyone loved that you were in your apron you know why because you spill on your sweatshirt and your shirts and you stain this them. This guy right here is my arch nemesis. Yeah, olive oil gets on like all your stuff and stains your sweatshirts and stuff. But You're anyway, you are reckless. I wanted to remind you guys that I know I've said this before, but it's crazy because produce from HelloFresh actually goes from the farm to your front door in under a week. So your spring menu features the freshest flavors. And this recipe in specific is like such a quick, easy one. It's only 30 minutes. I feel like we can bang it out in less than 30. I feel like we're good at like beating the time it says because we're so good at cooking hello fresh now well, some of them are even 20 over here. yeah i'll help you in like <laughs> one second and like the step-by-step -step instructions are so easy to follow a lot of them we honestly memorize that we've like cooked a lot of times so again i believe my code is stay the same actually so my code is still ggyt16 you guys will get 16 free meals and three free gifts if you go to hellofresh.com wow. hellofresh.com use code ggyt16 okay i'm gonna help Don't pass up that offer because it will go away soon <laughs> so jump on it <laughs> you're in a mood i like and but like honestly though you guys it's really nice that this doesn't get in the way where did that recipe card go did you know, just, you just where did you just it. <laughs> Oh, I <laughs> it doesn't get in the way of our busy day. Of all days, this is a busy, important day. It's Brody's birthday. So, this is gonna be like a quick, easy lunch. And then we'll do dog park. Maybe we'll go to that doggy store. What else do we have? Pickleball, the golf, golf course. course. We have so many things to do. Okay, I'm joining Max. Mm. <laughs> Who could have cooked that? It's delicious. <laughs> Compliments to the chef. <laughs> but he's like, uh, don't forget what day it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, are you guys a max where you just throw everything together as quick as you can to eat it because you're starving? Or are you me and you care a little bit about the presentation, make it look cute and like doll it up all nice? Are you all going in the same okay. spot. <laughs> Yeah, but this, I make it look cute, you know? <laughs> All I have to say is these are pretty tasty. Mmm. And it's off. Oh, and it's back. Ow, <laughs> Brody. Do you know why my camera does that? I yeah, because if you find it close it to something, like it turns off. Into it. Mm hmm Guys, Seems silly. link down below again. GGYT, 16. 
and get this one, this recipe. You could get delicious. 16 of these if you wanted. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. Are you freaking kidding me? I thought Brody was getting into like packaging out here. And it's his new watermelon sprinkle toy. Yay. Sorry, this whole video is about, about Brody. But if you clicked on it, you knew what you were getting yourself into. It's a big day. Brody. Do you see where we are? You guys, we're at Brody's, another one of his most favorite places. The dog park. Woo. <laughs> There's so many doggies because it's a nice day. <gasps> Road. Are you playing with friends? No. Are you being a loner? <laughs> There's all sorts of guys out here today. <laughs> oh my god. Max that is called is Brody. Good boy. And he came Brody flying come. across the whole freaking park. He was so good. <laughs> Are you a little thirsty? After the dog park. <laughs> this portable little bowl is the best thing ever. I always feel like I forget it when I need it, but I'm really happy that I remembered to bring with. Hi, buddy. <laughs> dog park complete. Let's go to Prater. Okay. Because if someone's on the pickleball, worst case, we can just whack it around on the tennis board. Yeah. We're going to... I pickleball now. We have so many pickleball courts around here we've We're spoiled. realized, yeah. So we have lots of options. Brody loves this because he just gets to run around, free range. Then after that, another one of his faves is going to the golf course with his dad. Yeah. And he'll just run around and make people smile. <laughs> play any games so we were just yeah, practicing no, we today. really we did and especially because it was Brody's birthday I thought I did good luck sweat still did not beat him one day I like when we're on a team <sighs> me too because I'm just like oh because I want to be good you know why I beat you today because I'm in my tennis whites that's why what's that you know, when you go to play tennis, you wear like a white collared shirt. Yeah. I'm in my tennis white. I'm in a white shirt, but just an old t shirt. <laughs> An old beater. <laughs> and this guy sounds exhausted. Did you have fun playing pickleball? He's the ref, he's the scorekeeper. And the ball boy. <laughs> You're being a good boy, bro. <laughs> Booty, are you having fun watching dad golf? Don't go in the pond, okay? <laughs> nice! We didn't even tell them that you got new clubs today. He got new clubs today. <laughs> Is it an adjustment? <laughs> But just irons, not all new clubs. Just, just irons. What are you doing? It's so fun coming here at the end of the night. It's like very tranquil, peaceful. It's in. <laughs> no, we're pretty close. Oh gosh, what are you eating? <laughs> eating like a pound of sand, probably. <laughs> Birthday French fry. <laughs> okay, hi. It's the next day, but I thought we could do something fun together. Well, actually, not that fun, but something that I just need to start doing, um, which is packing for Boston since we like haven't really at all and we move so soon however i don't know if i mentioned to you guys but long story short basically how we have our short-term lease is we're taking over like a mutual friends lease and it just worked out really well with our timing and so they are leaving furniture like plates bowls cups knives forks 
spoons, stuff like that for us. And like TVs, towels, like they're leaving so much for us. And so like literally we barely need to show up with like our clothes and that's probably it. So that's why we haven't really done anything because like all our furniture, even like kitchen stuff I was so worried about. And I was like, he was sending me pictures of like their kitchen and I was like, oh my gosh, you're leaving like all the kitchen stuff. Like I didn't even realize. So anyway, that makes it a lot easier, but I just know there are some things that I'm still gonna bring, even though they're leaving kitchen stuff, do you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna try to be good at like saving some boxes that I'm getting, because I know we're gonna need to pack stuff. Like one thing I know I just can't live without is my Nutribullet, like I doubt they left a blender for us yet. So, okay, let's do it together. This will be the first thing we're packing for Boston. How exciting. Okay. Because <laughs> we only have like two more full days here, so. I don't need to make a smoothie in the next few days, right? Yeah, this is good. This can all go. This is so exciting. Oh. Okay. I saved some of this like packing stuff, so hopefully that is good. Mm, where's the other little hickey? Maybe it's in our. You know how I feel like there's two of these. Wait, I'm realizing this bad boy. Nespresso is definitely coming with, but I feel like I'll use it in the next two days. Okay, this is already a fail <laughs> because, yeah, I feel like I have to wait to pack that because I feel like I'm gonna use that, but I definitely am gonna need this and all the little pods that go with. But see, like, all of this stuff I love, but like, that's so unnecessary to pack and bring and probably won't fit in my car with all my clothes. So, like, yeah, like mugs, plates, wine glasses, stuff like that I don't need. Oh, you know what though? I know they left like pots and pans and stuff. However, I think the one thing I will pack is my always pan because I don't know, I just need it. <laughs> I already know I'm gonna pack a bunch of Max is gonna be like, no, 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 not coming with, won't fit. But like, I need my always pan. We're in a monogamous. Relationship. I don't know, I just feel like I, I can't use another pan. So that's going in. Okay, I need to reorganize this better. Will this all fit in here? I think so. Maybe. <laughs> if I reorganize that better. Okay. Even like little things, obviously like maybe some snacks, like random pantry stuff, but like I definitely <laughs> just the essentials. Coffee maker, Nutribullet, like my, I was gonna say frying pan, not a frying pan, my always pan, you know, my pan that just does everything. Um, a trivial pursuit, all you need. <laughs> no, but like really though, I wanna bring this in like categories and like some of our fun games and stuff like that. I don't know if our cornhole boards are gonna make the move. Oh no. I don't know if we'll have room. Maybe that'll be like a game time decision if everything else is packed and we can kind of like slide them in up top because they're big, but they're like flat. <laughs> this is already going horribly wrong. Let me show you what we're working with. Working with. All right, I'm scared for what we're about to see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, look, but no one look. Okay, maybe I should throw on a light in here. Ah, it's like literally such a mess, you guys, our garage, but I mean, it's a garage, so whatever, it's fine. Also. All of this was like not here. It was pretty much just like this stuff, but this is actually Max's like teammate stuff right here. Um, we're like literally guys use our garage as a storage unit because we won't be all here all summer, so it's fine. Sadly, I asked my, <laughs> I can't speak. I asked Max about my bike. I was saying Mike. No, I asked Max about my bike. And this just simply does not fit in either of our cars. So, and I don't know where it would fit in the Boston apartment because it's literally half the size of like this Pennsylvania apartment. So sadly, I don't think she will be making the trip unless anyone has like a moving truck, they wanna like move it for me. But it's only three months, so I'll be back. And there's so many Boston Soul Studios that I can like literally walk to that are so close. So I guess I won't really need that home bike anyway. Um, Yeah, so this is like his teammate stuff. Oh yeah, those are the cornhole boards. I was saying, see they're like flat, so you could always throw those in. Oh. This I already know is gonna be an issue. Max's hockey gear and bag like picks up literally so much space his stick So that's gonna fill up like honestly the majority of his car. Um, 
And then this is what I want to show you. Literally the only clothes we can bring are what we can fit in our suitcases. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five suitcases. Actually six. I have a, another carry-on suitcase that I ordered that's actually getting delivered today. Um, and then all of this stuff, I guess, is just staying. Like winter coats I won't need. Luckily, it's the summer. So... I don't really need like coats or like heavy stuff, you know? Um, but yeah, we're gonna have one day here from when we get back from Punta Cana before we move to Boston. So that one day is gonna be like packing up all our clothes and everything. I feel like this lighting is making my forehead look so greasy. Um, <laughs> hi Brody. But yeah, so that day is just gonna be like mayhem and us like throwing all our clothes in our suitcases. But that's like really pretty much everything we need to do. Like looking around like what else needs to come like no winter coats that's our christmas tree in boxes my big giraffe doesn't need to come like i think my idea of just the essentials versus the access idea of just the essentials is very different like i would bring a whole lot more and he's probably like literally gonna pack up one suitcase of clothes and that's gonna be it maybe we're bringing like a couple light jackets a couple snacks from the pantry hi bro did you miss me i think he's barking at the door because he missed me um, but I guess that's me getting started packing for Boston. Do I have like anything else to show you? Okay, this I can show you guys. This is exciting. This package just came in. It's so nice that it has a handle on the top. It's really freaking heavy. I got new, hi Brody, new bedding, like new sheets and new duvet cover for Boston. I'll probably leave it like all packed up in here though, just so that it stays nice and packed up and I don't have to like re try to shove it in there. I'm already thinking that like, I feel like it's gonna be just craziness trying to puzzle piece our cars together since we're just gonna bring Max's, Max's car, my car, and actually my car is the only car that we're gonna have in Boston because it's so expensive. So we're just gonna pay for my car to be in the garage and then Max's car will leave on the Cape. Um, So that's cool. Our bedding, I actually think they're leaving bedding for us, but like new sheets and a duvet cover, I feel like will be good. Maybe we'll just grab some of our pillows, maybe like a couple of our own towels. Brody, are you helping pack? He's like, don't bring in all my toys. Oh yeah, I'll definitely have to like throw a box together of his toys. But like see our suitcases and duffels and stuff are gonna fill up most of the car. And then I feel like everything else, like our little boxes of like a few kitchen things, games, bedding is gonna really be like a tight, tight squeeze. Um, and then I was just gonna say like, I'll probably literally grab like, this is like a really lightweight jacket, my rain jacket, can you even see? And like, that'll be that. Cause I don't need any of these. Well. I wanted to show packing for Boston, but I guess there's not too much to show since we're coming into a fully furnished apartment with like a bunch of stuff already there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll show like a little bit um, in the moving vlog of us like throwing our clothes together and like packing up the cars. But yeah, that's it for now. Like I can't even prepare too much. That's gonna be so stressful. The one day we have here before we move to Boston, I'm gonna be like running around with my like a chicken my head cut off. But yeah, I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I feel like it's a long one. We had so much fun yesterday for the boy's birthday. Hi, huh, bro. Love ya. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.